Welcome back everybody, Patrick here, moving on to another question dealing with vectors. So given that the magnitude of vector A is 6, magnitude of vector B is 8, and the magnitude of vectors A plus B is 12, we have to determine the magnitude of A minus B. So notice we got A, B, and A plus B, so let's first draw out the vectors A. Let's say this is it right here has a magnitude of 6, and then let's draw out the vector b. So both of these right now are tail to tail. So what happens if we add these? Well, we would have vector a, like this, plus vector b, which looks like that. And so vector a plus b would be the resulting vector here. Okay, and notice that we're given the magnitudes of all of these vectors. So this magnitude is six, this magnitude is eight, this magnitude is 12. And we have to find the magnitude of vector a minus b. Well, if this is a plus b, then what's a minus b going to look like? Well, it's going to be vector a, and then instead of plus b, we're going to say minus b. So it's going to be the same magnitude as this vector b, just in the opposite direction, like that. So this here is vector minus b. This is positive b, this is minus b. And this vector has the same magnitude as vector b. It's basically the same vector just in the opposite direction. So the magnitude is the same. So the length of this side here is 8. Magnitude of this vector here is 8 as well. And so the resultant vector, a minus b if we draw it, is right here. So ultimately, we want to find the magnitude of this vector here, this vector a minus b. So how can we do that? Well, notice that we have two triangles here. So let's draw it out on the side here. So we got vector a, we got vector b, and then we got vector a plus b. And let's label the side. So the magnitude of a is 6, 8, and 12. And then we have this triangle here. So we'll have a minus b, and this would be a minus b. So this is uh, still 6, this is still 8, and then this is what we are finding. Let's uh, maybe label it uh, x. And the way that these two triangles relate, notice that this angle theta and this angle alpha have to equal 180 right, because they are separated on a line, right, so they're supplementary. So theta plus alpha has to equal 180. So notice what we can do first is we can find theta here with this triangle because we have all three sides, so we can use cosine law. Once we get theta, we could subtract that from 180 to get alpha, and then once we have this angle alpha, we can use cosine law again to find this side x, which would be the magnitude of a minus b. So step one, we're gonna find theta, angle theta in that first triangle. So we can use cosine law. So we take the opposite side 12, square it. Then we'll have six squared plus eight squared minus two times six times eight times cos of theta. And then we can isolate for this cos theta, so we can bring the 6 squared over, 8 squared over, so we'll have 12 um, squared minus 6 squared minus 8 squared equals negative 2, 6 times 8 times cos theta. And then we can divide both sides by this negative 2 times 6 times 8. Right, so we'll basically have cos theta equals... 12 squared minus 6 squared minus 8 squared all over negative 2 times 6 times 
8. And when you do that calculation on the left side, you'll end up getting negative 0.45833, repeating. And so when you inverse that, when you solve for theta, you end up getting 117 degrees. So this angle here, theta, is 117 degrees. And then notice, second step, we can find angle alpha. Because if you remember, theta plus alpha had to equal 180. If you remember that vector diagram we had before, so basically alpha is equal to 180 degrees minus 117 degrees, which would give us 63 degrees. So this is uh, angle alpha here, 63 degrees. And then our third step, we can now solve for x. So third step, solving for this x here, we use cosine law, so we'll have x squared equals 6 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 6 times 8, uh, and then cos of that angle alpha, which is 63 degrees. So you end up getting 56.42 on the right side, and then when you square root both sides, get the x by itself, you end up getting 7.51. And so that there is the final answer. That's the magnitude of vector a minus b. If you remember, we let that x equal that vector a minus b that we had in the vector diagram, right? So that's the final answer. So whenever you get a question like this, my suggestion, first draw it out. So if you remember, this was vector a plus b. So this was vector a plus b, the resultant. And so if this was a plus b, then we would have a minus b here. And so this is the resultant vector a minus b, and we had to find the magnitude of that vector. So we had to take a bunch of steps. We had two triangles, and the way they're related is angle theta plus alpha was 180 degrees. And then we finally solve for that x, that magnitude of vector a minus b, and we end up getting 7.51.